Many of you have been asking me, how can you actually save the infographic created by Gemini? Let me show you in some simple steps how you can actually do that. But before I show you, remember to comment, like, save this video, and also don't forget to follow me. So let's head back to Gemini and create an infographic. So what I want to do now is that I want to make sure that I go over to Gemini, just type in any topic for now. Let's just say how to have a balanced diet. And I make sure that I select the canvas too, and I click on enter. And we will see that Gemini will start to think. And also it will use the canvas mode to create its reply. So how do you know that it's in the canvas mode? You will see that you actually have canvas selected here. And you also see this nice pop-up that will appear. So when the guide is completed, all I need to do is go on the top right, select the drop down and ask it to create an infographic. So let's do that now. After clicking on the button, Gemini goes off thinking, it will then start to code and create the infographic that is suitable for this guy. And once that is done, you can see this very beautiful infographic that has been created by Gemini. So what do I want to do right now in order to save it as a PDF? All I need to do right now is actually just to print it. So I will head over to my option, select print. And you can see that actually I have the PDF here and all I can do now is to actually select and make sure that I save it as PDF. After processing, let's make sure that I have it in PDF mode. And there you have it. The infographic is now in the PDF. And that's actually how easily you can create an infographic using Gemini and then saving it as a PDF that you can send to anybody else. If you want a complete guide on how to do it, comment info in the comment section and I'll send it over to you. And also don't forget to follow me.